king oysters for dinner tonight. These were coming up in the air gap in the um, in the bag, so they haven't shaped very well, but I'm sure they'll taste just fine. So we'll take this one off. Oh, we solid. And we'll take this one off. And we'll have more soon. Few little bug bites, but that won't hurt anyone. We have a good home style dinner tonight. We've got homegrown asparagus, homegrown spuds, and a couple of king oysters to dress our sausages. So we've got a fair bit of home produced produce for dinner tonight. I was emptying out a couple of old pots and I thought my potatoes hadn't worked. And they hadn't really, but we got a few here. So we'll have a couple of small potatoes each. We've got the king oyster mushrooms that we picked a bit earlier. And we've got asparagus. Now people who were familiar with shop asparagus would expect that they're going to be nice and tender. And these big ones are going to be tough as old nails. Not true. These homegrown ones, if we cut it off at the right place, we get that by bending it. We can see it's fairly flat up to here and then it bends so we're going to cut it off there and we can feel it slice through no woodiness at all so we'll chop that into lengths that will fit in the pan and this will be perfectly okay again so we chop him off there and that way we get a, a nice big lot of asparagus and if you do make a wrong guess, like I did on this one, you can actually feel it when you cut it. And I felt that's all good. Oh, well, there you go. That also tells you when they're the right place to cut them. Now, this is our first time with King Oyster, so I'll give them a wash. I'm not sure how we cook these. I looked it up on the interwebs, and it basically said, all we need to do is cut them in half, but these look a bit big to be cooked in halves so I might just sort of slice it like that so this is what I said to do is cut them into slices like so and this one we'll get some of the bug marks off and this I think we'll just cut in half and cook him up like that so I'll give them a rinse to see how they go now the other thing we have for dinner tonight is warrigal greens and we've never tried them before and we have no idea what they taste like. Warrigal greens are native to Australia and New Zealand. They're full of that oxalactic acid so we've got to actually make sure that we blanch them and we're going to serve them with some oyster sauce or soya sauce, not sure which at the moment, but we'll see what they taste like. Being an Australian bush food, the chances are they'll be quite awful. Well, we shall find out. Let's go and trim them up. Okay, so we're just trimming off some of the leaves off the stalk. The stalks will go into the compost or the worm farm. Any of the been bug eaten or whatever, we'll just throw out, give them a rinse, and then blanch them. All right, let's pop the uh, oyster mushrooms in. Lots of butter. I'll probably shrink down a bit. All right, we're going to get them nice and brown on one side, then we'll flip them over and cover them. The colour change is interesting. Give that one a bit more. We're blanching the warrigal greens. They should be ready any second now. Then we'll put some sauce on it, oyster or soy, which do you think? Oyster. Okay, we'll do some oyster sauce on it and keep it warm. I'm not sure when these are going to be ready, having never cooked them before. Little tiny bit. They are really good. Oh yeah. That's magnificent. That is really, really, really good. Looking forward to these. Okay, asparagus is just frying in some olive oil and salt. Mm. 
Orgle grain. Yeah, it tastes like spinach. It's alright. Let's try it with a bit of hoisin because we didn't have any oyster. Tablespoons, I suppose. And we might add some soy when we're serving it up. And there we are, all ready to go and looking pretty nice. What do we think? Rufus is angry because he didn't get any because it was too nice. Uh, the Warrigal Greens, boy, it was a hoist in a mistake. I think they're okay. Um, I'll probably go back to doing uh, silver beet and chard and that sort of thing instead. Um, they're okay, as I said, but nothing fancy. The potatoes, superb. Unfortunately, not too many of them out of the garden. Asparagus, not woody, even though they were that long, I suppose. Um, but just chopping them off at the right point, all good, and they always are. But the killer was the king oysters. Those king oysters are absolutely magnificent. So, what do you think of our meal? Would you like to have joined us? You would have been welcome virtually. Let me know if you've tried any of these. How did you cook the king oysters? They were probably needed a little bit more cooking for us, I think. But anyway, really good meal, mostly homegrown. That's what we really aim to do, become a little bit more self-sufficient, grow our own food, and enjoy it. So please, like, subscribe. Let me know if you like cooking videos. If you don't like cooking videos, also let me know and I'll separate them off. And as the final thing, as we always say, like, subscribe, please. It helps us out. I'll catch you in the garden and the kitchen.